want to be able to fade out the edge of an image in Canva like this. The old way of doing this using blur images and shadows and things like that was a little bit dodgy and a little bit messy. You couldn't make it transparent and it was a little bit ad hoc. It was just a bit of a mess, but there is now a much better, easier and more professional way to do this that also lets you make it transparent, which is going to give you so many more options. I know this is something a lot of you want to know how to do because in the past when I posted the old way of doing it, it was always quite popular and had a lot of interest. So I know that you're going to want to see this much better way of doing it now. This new technique allows you to both add fade to the edge of an image as well as all around it. And it's also fading out to transparency. Super easy and uses an app within Canva, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. All right, so I have grabbed some images and text here just to show you why you might want to do this, but you may have different reasons for wanting to do this as well. But I just want to show you in situation so to help it sort of make sense about how this works and what to do. Now, in the past, what you would do would be go to Elements and you'd put in something like blur, or it could be something like um, shadow, something like that where you find some sort of graphic. So basically one of these ones and you would look for one where you could actually edit the color. So we might get blur that might give us one that's editable. So I think this orange one is, yes. So you'd find something like this is what you would do and then you'd want to match it to your background color and then you put it down the bottom and you have to basically over and over repeat make this to do it. So it's a bit, you know, messy and didn't work. You know, it works, but it doesn't make it transparent. So if you wanted to change this background for some reason, or if you wanted to, add a, you know, have it transparent for whatever reason, well, you can't because you've got all these things on it. And so it doesn't work in that way. And well, it is a bit messy because look at all those little bits that make it up and it can end up looking uneven, things like that. So there is problems with that old method. So this new method is a lot more professional. It gives you much better results and it does it transparent. So you can always change up the background or even if you had like a textured background because that previous method wouldn't work if you've got some sort of texture background or something like that. So this is a much better way. So what you've got to do is go to apps. So you're going to look up image blender. Now, this has all these other kinds of features, but what we're after are these two top tools here, Linear and Radial. So what you're gonna do is select your image, then you select the one you want. So this one we're gonna use Linear, and then we use this line. So you've also got Strength, so you can decide how strong you want it, so you can see how that looks. Then we use this line to position it. So we can leave the top there as it is, or if you want to, you can also move that around. As you can see, that all makes adjustments. So as you can see, that bottom one, it's sort of the very edge of it, adjust that. And the top one sort of adjusts how far that fade goes out. So you can really make this much more precise and professional looking, as you can see. Now, of course, you could also put this on different angles too, which is kind of cool. So if you wanted to angle it to the side, you know, on an angle, you could do whatever you want, as you can see. So really, it gives you plenty of options. Now, when you're done, you want to press save. Now it's going to actually put that in your uploads folder. So if you want to get this image again, it will actually put it in your uploads folder to go and grab it as well. Now, what about radial? So let's try a radial. And as you can see, you can decide how far out it comes. So if you go off the edge there, it's gonna look a bit cut off. So you generally would want to keep it within that boundary line of that purple line. And again, you can adjust the strength of it too. So if you just want to just soft, just a tiny bit around the edge, or really softening going in, you can adjust all those. Now with the previous method, the old way of doing things, you couldn't do this at all. So the fact you can do radial now is really cool. And again, you just want to save it. So there you go. And as you can see, it is a really cool effect. And there's probably like plenty of different ways you may use this and can use it. So next time you're looking to do something like this, make sure you check out that app in Canva. If you'd like to learn other fun ways to cut out your images, you can also check out my video on creating cutouts in Canva. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy creating.